I love how the super effective system works in this, look. Wait, what? That should have done... I don't even... Uh, plus power doesn't stack. I always treated it like it's stacked because... Ow! Oh, dang, I thought I was in the clear. Well, could you abuse state, uh, save states, get cards when you draw? Or is that already predetermined? Ah, that's a good point. I think you might be able to do that. Um, Mr. Fuji, I'm sorry you aren't very useful. Did I have a second rapid? Yes, I had a second rapid ash grad. Should I use that just so I have a better chance of surviving? Yeah, there's really no downside there. Oh, poison powder wasn't even as bad as I thought it was. It's only like 10 per turn. Burn does like 30. Yeah, I thought it did 40 base damage, it only did 20. Still hurts, but ugh, this thing is gonna totally outlast me. Oh yes. Oh, I thought paralyzed would make poison not happen anymore. Maybe. Should I keep this alive with potion, or do I have anything on the bench? That can even. Uh, Does poison affect Pokemon on the bench? I don't think so, but I don't really want to bench it because whenever it comes back, it's just gonna insta die. I like how there's a discard option for the mysterious fossil. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait. What's a Diglett have? Well, regarding confusion, when you were asking about it earlier, apparently it stays on you until you, uh, trade back to your bench. Uh... Ah, uh, this thing could stay alive one more turn if I used a potion on it. I'm thinking that might be my best bet, because when it faints, I'm done. Oh, I don't know. Man, Perilous is bad in this. Okay, cool. Was there a limit oh. to uh, how many trainer cards you could use? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure until they started doing supporter cards and stuff. It was just as many as you happen to have. Unless they said specifically otherwise. Looks like they took her sprite right from the main game. Whoops. Uh, well, if I only have one fighting energy, I guess Machop's the way to go. Actually, Diglett might have been a better choice, but I don't know, Machop has more hit points. Okay, at least it didn't paralyze. Why does Stun Spore do damage? Not cannon. Why did Thunder Wave do damage? Yeah, the same thing. That's actually pretty good for a one energy card move. I consider reasonable one damage counter per memory card, or per energy card. And, oh, Sprout makes more Oddish appear, that's sort of great. Shedding card game needs memory cards. Yes. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, I always considered one energy card per damage you do reasonable, and any more than that was just like bonus stuff, like when you did 20 damage or when you had a chance of paralyzing or something, and that made those cards better than the others. And I'm not sure if that was a particular amazing elevation or anything, but eh. The trading card just work. Uh, the trading card game just kind of works really weird with all of its trainer cards and powers and all that. Yeah, of course the games actually ended up being more like that with abilities and stuff. Oops! Now this Charmander has far more things than it would ever possibly need. Whatever, Growlithe, you be a arcane I now. And computer search. You know what? I just want a bloody fire energy, I think. D 
Do you even have anything to use the mysterious fossil for in this deck? Yeah, I have a Kabuto and an Aerodactyl, but that doesn't. Oh crap! A straight Devile Blue. Wait, what? Why didn't I attack? Wait, did I? Ugh, my brain hurts. Why does this Charmander have four energy on it? Oh, there's my Aerodactyl. What does it do? Wing attack for 30, and prehistoric power. Oh yeah, I like that. It makes everything stop evolving. That was pretty cool. Oh boy. Everything or just your opponent? The... No, everything. And anyway, this chick has, uh... Two pr I'll have two prize cards left, and she puts up another bell sprout. Oh, now she used that. And blah. Hacker. You can hack a card game. Uh huh. And now I am like going mad with fire energy, but not with not losing energy. Whatever. Maybe I'll get a Charmeleon or something. Oh dang, Lickitung apparently has some magic thing that happens from the bench. Hmm, I'm not sure if I should... I No, I should definitely give this to RP9 so I can actually use something after Charmander's done. What's this doing? Oh, it lets you add extra grass energy to something if you hit heads. That's interesting. I always like the Pokemon power that let you do more stuff than energy cards because I always thought you never could do enough in the first place. Hmm. Well, I guess Flamethrower will do. Not very energy useful, but I don't really want to do recoil and at least I have plenty of fire energy at the moment. Okay, good. I would have been annoyed if I was thinking it again. Okay, I hope you bring up your thing so I can just wreck it. Okay, that is. I like that bulb sword. It's like shooting something out of its bulb. And hopefully this works, unlike the last time I got all excited over something. Chris Boosh. Okay, Oda. Like a tongue. And oh, hey, plus power makes it do more recoil damage too. That's interesting. This but is intense. I won! In the words of Metroid anime. Ooh, cool. Got there should be a Metroid anime. Three. Yes, there should be. <laughs> I like this ghastly. It's like completely black and just a <laughs> line of red. Oh, dang, it's ice cream. Remi good. Reminds me of the red and blue sprite of Ghastly, where it's just kind of like a cloud. It's just a spray paint tool from MS Paint. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of good psychic and grass types. I guess that makes... I wonder if the contents of a pack of cards you get relates to what club you're in. I wonder if you could just save state abuse for those when you open them. Maybe, until you get all Mewtwo's or something.